Hello my awesome audience, you're welcome back to my channel. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be taking you step by step on how to upgrade a Kubernetes cluster. This is actually a crucial task to keep your cluster or your infrastructure running smoothly and up to date. So in this video today, I'm going to be guiding you through the comprehensive process of upgrading each facet of your cluster, including the control plane, the core components and the worker nodes. So whether you're a seasoned DevOps professional or you're just diving into the world of Kubernetes, this guide is tailored to assist you. Um, please note that upgrading a Kubernetes cluster involves a meticulous sequence of steps to ensure minimal disruption and maintain the integrity of your application. So we'll begin by upgrading the control plane, which houses the central management and coordination elements of your cluster. So from there, we'll delve into upgrading the critical component that keeps your cluster operational and secure. This upgrade demands careful consideration of compatibility and dependency. So please, before I go ahead, ahead um, ensure that you've actually um, taken a backup of your data if you have not all right unless you're just trying to practice but if this is production please don't go into upgrading your cluster without backing uh, without any backup of your workload ensure you've back up before you continue all right so let's get started so this is the Kubernetes documentation. This is the page to upgrade your kubeadm cluster. So I ha actually have a video where uh, we set up this kubeadm cluster, all right? I'm going to be dropping the link in the description below so you can set up your kubeadm cluster if you are yet to do so. All right, so we can actually get started. So how did I get to this page? I simply typed... Um, Cube ADM cluster upgrade. And this is it here. I'll click on it. And you can also get it by typing that straight from your browser. All right. So over here, I'll scroll down. So if you read here, this page um, explains how to upgrade a Kubernetes cluster created with Kube ADM from version 1.26 to version 1.27. Okay. So how do you actually know the version to upgrade to? So from your cluster, you can actually run a Kubernetes plan. As you can see, we have... Um, should you want to upgrade from uh, say from 1.25 to 1.26 then you click on this if you want to upgrade from 1.24 to 1.25 you click on this um yeah so but we are interested in upgrading to the latest version all right which is 1.27 um point four all right so uh if i scroll down determine which version to upgrade to so it is actually dependent on your cluster all right so for my own cluster i'll be making use of this because i actually use ec2 um instance i use amazon linux to set it up so this is the one we should go with so let me take you to my cluster how do i know the latest version or the version to upgrade to you can actually run cube adm um upgrade plan and just give it a moment to okay so um fashion available versions so upgrade to cluster version 1.27 okay so this is actually the version the latest version we can upgrade to so as you can see from here the latest version in the 1.27 series is 1.27.4 um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and follow the steps we have here. So first of all, I'll need to run this command. This will actually help to uh, find the latest 1.27 version in the list. Okay, so let's see what this gives us. Let me clear this. Okay, 
so as you can see it's almost the same but this is actually more detailed so here you can see all the versions all the versions you can actually upgrade to but here this is the latest right so let me clear this and we can get started by upgrading our control plane in this cluster i have um let me check keep cuddle get nodes i have a master node and worker node okay in case you're wondering what this k is for i got it via this so i use alias k equals to um keep it here this is what i did so i should be able to use k instead of keep control to run my command all right so let's see what we have over here so um let's upgrade the control plane so i just have to copy this copy what we have here so if i go to my terminal i'll need to replace this this x here i'll replace it with four because that is the latest version we want to upgrade to so let's install the cube adm version 1.27.04 i'll press enter okay updated great complete all right so let's go back and verify the download works and has the expected version so um let's run clear this cube adm version okay it was actually installed successfully all right so let's go over and see i'll verify the upgrade plan so cube adm upgrade plan we've run that command and we're able to see 1.27.4 okay so um now we're asked to choose the version to upgrade to so i should be able to get this so if i run kubedm upgrade apply and then this version it should get it applied so let's run this 1.27.4 and um yeah okay are you sure you want to proceed i'll type yes upgrade successful uh and it says your cluster was upgraded to 1.27.4 enjoy now that your control plane is upgraded please proceed with upgrading your kubelet if you haven't already done so all right that is awesome so we can actually go ahead to upgrade our kubelet okay so um i will just have to scroll down to where we have the kubelet and kubectl but before that we have to drain our node so if you're upgrading your cluster probably you have some workload running in your cluster okay so before you actually go ahead to upgrade this you have to drain your node okay so um if you don't actually have workload running you can just um cut on the node so it can mark it on schedulable but i actually have a workload running here so i need to drain this clear this So I want to drain my master node and to drain this I just have to run cube control drain and then the name of my control plane which is master and then I'm gonna run dash dash ignore demon set okay so as you can see that is actually what we have here so I will run this and let's give it a second 
um, so when you run drain when you run keep control drain command it will evict your port so first of all it will mark your node as unschedulable and it will evict the pod it will just um, help to move your pod right so it is called eviction it will just evict whatever pod you have in that node all right to evict it and um, reschedule the pod elsewhere if you have another available node okay so it says drain check this node uh, let's check it out keeps it here get nodes again and as you can see um scheduling disabled and um it disabled the scheduling meaning that we can actually schedule another pod in this node all right because we've drained the node and we evicted the pods all right so let's go ahead so we can go ahead to upgrade the kiblet and the uh keep control so here click on this to select it and then I'm gonna run this command but before I run this command I'll need to okay, let me paste it first so remember I want to upgrade everything to 1.27.4 so I'm gonna do this okay so i'll then press enter so it is currently updating the cube control and the cube blade running in the control plane and that is complete okay so you can see kubelet completed cube control completed with our desired version that is awesome so let's now restart the kubelet um so i'll copy this command so we need to reload the demon paste this and yeah and then i'll copy the this one so we can restart the kubelet this is just to let the upgrade take effect all right all right so right now let's actually um confirm what we've done so keep control get nodes and let's see if the control plane has been upgraded as you can see uh version 1.27.4 great so now that we've upgraded this i can actually go ahead now to uncordon okay i can uncordon so what does it mean to uncordon your node to uncordon means to mark it schedulable because here we disabled it so we can mark it schedulable all right so um you just run cube control on cordon master and it, can, it has been uncodon so if i run this command again you can see the master is ready master all right so let me clear this so we are done with the master node now we can actually go ahead to upgrade the worker nodes so still in this page to upgrade the worker nodes um upgrade worker nodes so to upgrade worker nodes all i need to do is to click on this upgrade linux node because we are using um a linux node right so i'll go ahead to click on that and it will bring me to this page so if i scroll down so to upgrade this worker node we have we just have only one worker uh one worker node so to upgrade it i have to click on this centos and i'll click on I'll, I'll select this and then copy that so the steps are actually similar to upgrading the control plane okay so this command will help us to install the kubedm and yeah so we'll run this in the worker node 
So this is my worker node and I've SSH into my worker node by using a SSH command because it is worker node we're about to upgrade, right? So you need to be, um, you need to SSH into your worker node. So let me paste this command and I need to be a root to do this. So let me use sudo press enter and it will start installing. Okay, I didn't actually, sorry, I need to be... I need to change this to 4. Now we'll run the command again. Great. QBDM 1. Point. Okay, so this is it over here. Let me clear my screen. Then I go back to the documentation um, call QBDM upgrade. So for worker nodes, this upgrade uh, this upgrade the local kubelet configuration. Okay, so to upgrade the local kubelet configuration, let me copy this. Go back to the worker and paste this. Press enter. Okay. Um, Running pre-fly checks. Okay, backing up kubelet config file to this part. So obviously the output of this command indicate that the configuration for the node was successfully updated, including the kubelet configuration. Okay, uh, the kubelet configuration and you also advise us on you know upgrading the kubelet uh, package using a package manager. Now you should go ahead and upgrade the kubelet package using a package manager. Okay, so um, let's go ahead to the next command we have. So we have to drain the node before you start upgrading. We have to drain the node. Okay, so this is also used when you want to maintain your cluster. So draining this node will actually help to evict our pods and mark our node on schedule level so new pod will be um, scheduled into this worker node so if I copy this so we have to run this command in the master alright so when you want to drain is actually in the uh, control plane you run it sorry so I'll type the worker node which is um the name of our worker node is worker node and yeah, so when it's draining, it should just ignore the daemon set which is running in the node. So I'll press enter and it said already codoned. Okay, and drained. All right, that is fine. So let me clear this. So coming over here, um, upgrade kubelet and cube control. All right, so um, let's run this command. This will actually install kubelet and cube control version 1.27.4. So I'll copy this and we are doing this in the worker node this time. Okay, so the only thing I did in the master or in the control plane was to drain the worker node. So let's continue from using the worker node terminal. Let me clear this. So I'll paste what I just copied and then I'm going to change this to this X over here to 4. Change this to 4 and um, I'll need to be so let me use sudo then press enter. Okay. Um, nothing to do already installed um, latest version okay so uh, so what happened is that I already um, installed this stuff here I installed it already but I wasn't I didn't upgrade it yet okay so for your own if this is your first time of running this command it will get installed this version will get installed all right let me clear this and what is the next command here restart the kubelet so let's restart the kubelet and just copy this so still in the worker node i'll run this so that it will reload the daemon all right and after reloading we want to run um system control restart kubelet awesome all right so this is done and let's go back to the 
left the master node. So from the master node, we have to confirm what we've done. So over here, let's run keep control get nodes. Wow, as you can see, we now have um, version 1.27.4 and yeah, the master node and the worker node has been upgraded. So right now, um, I'll need to, you know, schedule the worker node. All right. So it is by using on cordon command. So it is keep control on cordon, then worker node. Uncodon means to mark it schedulable so that pods can be um, can be scheduled on this worker node henceforth. All right. So now that has been uncodoned, if I run keep control get nodes, you see that it is now um, ready to accept new pods. Right. It is now um, schedulable. So that is it about this video. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate you. If you are yet to subscribe, kindly subscribe to my channel and click on that notification bell. That way you get updates on my subsequent videos. And please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. That will actually encourage me. And it also help the algorithm to reach more people. Thank you so much. I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.